This morning, we are getting the first look at the surveillance video from a deadly police involved shooting. As Mike Puccinelli reports this morning, this shooting happened back in November, but the Independent Police Review Authority just released that video. There were two cameras recording just before midnight on November 18th. That's when three men began fighting and spilled out of a business on the 69th Street near Damon. 26 year old Darius Jones already has a gun in his hand. Despite that, one of the men grabs Jones and lifts him off the ground. But before he can body slam him, Jones pops off a shot, causing the man to let go and run for his life. Then Jones fires at least half a dozen shots at the men, striking one in the stomach. That's how it sounded on the police radio when, according to the officers, they ordered Jones to drop his weapon. He does not, so they open fire. We've stopped the video just before Jones falls fatally wounded to the street. Squad three, two ambulances here. We got one up under shot. We got uh, one cop there. So. It's such a hectic scene that the officer at the wheel of the SUV actually forgets to put the vehicle into park. Only after the shooter is down does he jump back in to stop the vehicle. In the other angle, you see Jones and the other two men fighting as they exit the business. The other man then grabs Jones before he panics, drops him, and then is seen running out of the picture. But he runs into the other man on the way, causing him to fall to the ground as Jones fires multiple shots. Why do we have two, two people with gunshot wounds here? Jones was brought to the hospital where he died within an hour. Police haven't released the condition of the man he shot. Now, IPRA is still investigating to determine if the shooting was within departmental guidelines. Both officers were placed on desk duty for 30 days. In the newsroom, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you for that update.